Tina, you left a cheese curl on the board. What? No, I didn't. It's right there. It's in the way of our character. Well, uh, maybe it's not a cheese curl. Mayhaps it is a, a, a powerful ancient meteor that fell from the heavens millennia ago. And it's got a lock on it. So you gotta go to a dungeon that I totally already had ready to get the key to unlock it. Uh-huh.
unlock the cheese curl. As you put the key into the lock, the the powerful ancient meteor begins to rise from the ground. Woo! Returning to the heavens from whence it came. You're really not going to admit you dropped that on accident, are you? I have no idea what you mean. This shrine is dedicated to Zumios, the patron god of power walking. Smell that? Coming from that dungeon? That's a shrine piece. Heavily in the air. You have reached the dankness. I thought something called the dankness would be, I don't know, danker? Okay, fine. Just then, all the trees die. And then mushrooms grow out of the rotting corpses. Now it's mega dank. Are you happy? Well, just how dank are we talking? I need a dank rank. You gotta rank the dank. If I'm being frank, you gotta rank the dank. Oh, you need me to crank out a dank rank? Well, the Franks would say... That's it. That's a one. Surely, this is the dankest place in all the land. Darkness flees before the light!
Fern is not a date. And my parents are no help. Mary for money, says my mother. Mary for position, says my father. What about love, I say? And they just... We Murphs are in a terrible bad way because of this wicked, awful virus running roughshod on us. We're on the brink of extinction. and need some kind of heroic type to help us out. If that's you, Hoss, come on down to our refugee camp to speak to my wife, Queen. Mistress of the lake, I seek the holy spell made. Um, so do you have it, or...? Eh? The what now? Ah, oh, look, I'm not talking to anyone while my damn goblin neighbors are making a racket with that drumming. Oh, ho oh. So our path is clear. We must kill the drummers! Only then will the lake lady hear our plea! Well, that doesn't sound neighborly at all. Surely some friendly palaver will clear the air. Hello there! I, I don't suppose I could trouble you to drum just a hair quieter, if it's not too much trouble. What ya? Yeah. Think you're going to like our music! Let's mutilate them! Well, can't say I didn't try. The horn breaks the horn! This great are dreadful, or so I've been told. Not to tangle with toadstools, nor mingle with mold. For the rest of that poem, simply walk your little leggy legs to the tavern in Brayhook.
I return from the drummers victorious. I expect you have much to tell me of the Holy Spell Nade now, yes? Oh, so you're after the Holy Spell Nade, eh? Well, and you special. Look, honey, if you want a spell, you gotta talk to that bone-headed bozo Nervin. But he'll only talk to you if you wield the gun sword extra caliber. Be warned, though. It's guarded by Mervyn's lackey, Lanes. It ain't a challenge for the frail of heart. Or arm. Frail of arm? Look, lady, I got more strength than my little servo motor than you've got in your entire... everything! In fact, I bet even my weak, scrawny, malnourished squire could take you on! Oh, is that so? Well, let's go then, tough guy. Squire! in the dankness who's got a need for teeth. A lot of teeth. And since you're so good at knocking the crap out of things, I think it's right up your alley, Tomodachi. Squire, stand aside, I pray, that I may pass in peace. None this gnarly bridge shall pass, who do not kick it major ass. If ye would cross this righteous gap, you first must win king of the cap, bro. God damn it, get out here! 
You gotta knock me off the mushroom cap if you wanna get over the bridge, bro. <laughs> Tell him! You wanna get across? You gotta beat the boss! <laughs> Oh, it's time to bring out the big guns! Try a slam attack on the way down! That'll shut that Lance guy up! Charged. Artistic license, maybe you've heard of it. Oh, and might I mention that after I got the Grail, I got like six different marriage proposals from princesses. And they were all total smoke shows, of course. Turned them down, though. Let the Grail there. My king, 
I humbly beseech you grant me audience, that I may deliver your royal personage this summons. You dare to enter my court and issue a summons to me, King Archer, master of this realm and lord of these wooded halls? Very well. Whatsoever your quest may be, I accept. But we are in court, so I would hear your summons before departing. We must observe the formalities here. I, Sir Claptrap, hereby summon King Archie, first of his dumb name. For though his weak, noodly arms pale in comparison to mine arms of steel, I need him to get off his pampered butt to pull extra caliber out of this rock so he can give it to me. And summons! Oh, dear. I've heard enough! Kill them! <laughs> Man, I hate things! They're the worst! I could go on a great life about all the ways I hate them. In fact, I will. Reason one. You take everything personally. Wait, is this thing still on? Eh, probably not. Anyway, like I was saying, kings are always a bunch of thin skinned whiners who can't take criticism. Reason numero dope. They're pushy. Since the last time a king said please, it's always the king commands you to do this, or by order of the king that. Rude. Reason the third. This looks really just about to Archie, actually, but have you ever noticed he kind of smells weird? Like, all the time? Next time you're around him, lean in real close. Take a subtle sniff. You'll see what I mean. Well, great! The king is dead! Does that mean you're king? Probably not. Anywho, the legend says we just need a hand, so grab what's left of the king and come on back! Adventure! Bring it that back, so we can get this dumb sword already! <laughs> now, Squire, fasten yon gross severed hand round extra caliber! Well done! Now grab the hand and yank that sucker out! to myself and say, friend, and they seem to get the idea. Elves don't like me very much. Yeah, 
Seeking the holy spell maid, eh? If you can best my apprentices, you will prove you are deserving of its power. Squire, defend your master! Yes, but only one possessed of true wisdom is fit to wield its great and terrible power. You must solve my puzzle or perish. If you would hold destruction in thy hand, you must see through trickery to tell Fred from a foe. Approach the real Mervyn, and the holy spell Nade is yours. Oh, easy! I know this one! Pick that one standing over there! Just look at him standing all smug! He's definitely hiding something! Ah, with the power of extra caliber, even saving my totally hapless squire is a triviality! Time to extra calibrate a way out of here! What? You're back? Most tenacious. No matter, I suppose if you can get it right on the second try, that's not so terrible. And I'll still let you have the holy spell made. But no cheating. Of course, what I meant was that guy over there. He's the one. I can feel it in my chassis. and you still got it wrong. It's clear you're not fit to wield the awesome power of the holy spell made. Now you must pay the price for your failure.
Show me your grill! Every smile's a winner! Well, my, my, what pretty teeth you have. If you're willing to spare a few, I'll pay top dollar for them. What do you say? Wanna help the tooth fairy out? <laughs> I'm rather fond of my own teeth. Must they be mine? Strictly speaking, yes. But, uh, let's just say if you uh, drop teeth into my collection's chest, <laughs> I won't ask questions. All we need to do is collect teeth? Sounds like some easy money to me. Sure, but where are we gonna get a bunch of teeth? Come on, girl! What's got lots of teeth, but never eats? Skellymans! Now get that ivory payday! Oh yeah, and for some extra funsies, hit those suckers right in the mouth to get a whole fountain of teeths! Who dares stand against my dark master? I am I'm back! Dead. 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 I'm going to eat I'm so much to unlive me! Hey, look at you go. You're a natural. I wonder, uh, would you be willing to uh, chase down a few more? I mean, it would really help me out. And uh, you see, I, I've got this quota, and uh, I'm way behind. You provide money for teeth, but to what end? What are the teeth for? Well, you know, uh, uh, normal fairy stuff. Uh, whisper them into the uh, uh, fanciful dreams of children and whatnot. Uh, don't you worry about it. Hmm. Anyone else notice he was kind of evasive? We're doing the good heroic thing here, Valentine. And you know what they say, a fairy indeed is a friend indeed. Don't pretend you're not just in this for the sweet payday. What? Adventuring is his free. <laughs> You hero! Time for a spell! My foot bone's gonna connect with your ass bone!
fantastically done. I didn't want to mention it earlier, but uh, now that I know what you can do, uh, I think you can handle it. If you're interested in the big bucks, you could uh, acquire something a little more exotic. Exotic, you say? Well, I say, challenge accepted. Oh, uh, let me mark the spot on your map with, uh, fairy magic. A gross-ass stench fills the air. A stench you know. You know exactly <gasps> what lies ahead. We do? Uh, I don't. I'm gonna get stopped. It's goblins! Show off. Wow! Rain the chopper! Uh, Valiant Heroics aside, can I bring this back to the part where we are collecting teeth for money? And your point is? My point is, we're pretty much on a grocery run for this guy. Skeleton teeth, goblin teeth, it's a very specific list of teeth. Pretty suspicious is all I'm saying. Hey! Stop questioning! Not questioning! Eh, yeah, fine. Sorry for being engaged in the narrative. Your apology is this world is not for you! Absolutely not. You sassing me? I... Yes? <clears throat> Alright, listen. I'm drawing the line, okay? Are we really going all the way to the ocean just to fight sea wargs? I mean, what's <clears throat> next? Colossal-jawed bull snakes of the heck realm? Where will it end? Let's just talk to this <clears throat> guy and wrap it up. Fine! You know what? Fine! You want to be the bunker master and wrap my flow, Valentine? It's cool. Just forget the sea wargs. The Tooth Fairy <coughs> summons you back to deliver your pearly bounty. Nah, it's all right. Just bring me what you've got. Skip. I have journeyed near and slightly less near to procure this bounty of teeth. The Sea Warp teeth, though, would have really kicked things up a notch. But I'll make do. Really earning those hero hours, aren't you? A query, what use are teeth to a tooth fairy? You know, it is so heartening to meet an adventurer who's curious about local culture. <laughs> if you place the teeth in my chest, you'll see for yourself. We're about to be rich! I can feel it! So, now children, for the magic word. Yeah. 
Well, if you're ready for your reward, reopen the chest and discover what treasures lie in wait. <laughs> so exciting! The big reveal! Oh, you fell for the classic dark wizard pretending to be a tooth fairy who really just wanted to summon a mimic scab! And the tooth fairy is the real! <laughs> just gonna hold on to it. Save it for a rainy day. So you're playing the long game, huh? Yep. Picked it up from a guy I know. Pretended he was a tooth fairy to do bunny-hungry adventurers into a trap of their own making. Yeah, well, at least now we know where the mimics come from. I like you guys. You're fun. This I swear. You will fall this day! That's the look of a tough as Murph fighter, don't you? <clears throat> well, that's a sight for these old eyes, because we got us sailors a whole heap and helping a Murph in trouble around these parts. And all our fighters are off at the forward operating camp trying to take back our village. Do you hear to them blue ones? Whatever a blue one is, I'm quite sure I can kill it. They used to be our kinfolk. They've been infected with something. Old Murph, these, these coming. Murph had all 
the Murph and Murph. Reckon you're about to see for yourself. Take cover, y'all. Them blue ones is a coming. and shame to kill kinfolk like that. But there's no cure for the blue rage, far as we know. College Murph was working on one before he got Murph napped by that whiz card gargle snot. Speaking of which, Murfetta was trying to rescue that smarty pants. She should have checked in by now. Could you go make sure my wife Queen's all right? I's got to see to the other Murphs around camp to make sure ain't no one got bit. Be oh. careful out there, stranger. Gargle's not so wily one. Not to be trusted. If anyone's hearing this, I'm in trouble. Gargle's not killed my queen's guard, and now he's... Nope. Um, um, everything's fine. We're all fine here. We're just... Uh... Having tea and uh, talking about our feelings. My conscience is clean, villain. to destroy the maps, not become their wife queen. What are you even yapping about? Don't you see? I created you. I am your father. That's not true. It's Murph and impossible. Search your feelings. You know it to be blue. I mean, true. Damn it. Shut up. Attention, stupid little Murphs! 
If you want to save your beloved wife, Queen, come to the village. <laughs> I do not like the sound of that ominous chuckle. This is most upsetting. Listen, stranger. Garble Snot was forcing me to help him with his experiments. I, I had no choice. But I did discover the truth. Gargle Snot created the Blue Rage virus. It's all part of his grand plan to wipe out the Murphs for good. And I also learned that there is no cure. Our infected brethren are forever lost to us. All we can do now is give them the peace of death. I need you to do something for me. Take this recipe and gather the ingredients around the forest. Oh, and Murphs, you might want to hurry, or Murphetta could be a bit more blue than you remember. <laughs> that Murph licking Murph Murpher. College Murph, please tell me you got a plan to save our wife queen. Ugh. I do indeed. I've sent the heroic-looking stranger to gather supplies for Garble Snot's Mushroom Enhancement Potion. If my theory proves accurate, that should aid us in bypassing the barricaded village gate. I'll meet you at the forward operating base outside the village when you're done. Watch your ear. Garble Snot's pet crab Azabelle's been spotted in that area. Listen here, you were a mere nuisance before, but now you've made this personal. Once I'm through with these Murphs, I'm coming after you! Serves you Murph and right, you evil Murph-sucking whiz card. We Murphs have been carving out those rooftop shrooms to make our houses for generations. It's like to be a bit Stranger, you're approaching the lair of the hate troll known only as Kate the hate troll. <laughs> Murphs, do you read me? I have the ingredients. Splendid! Reconvene with old Murph and I at the forward camp. The culture yeah. is prepared. I'll keep the double double toil and bubble bath boiling for you.
like that's the last of them. For now. Come on, then. Pop them potion particulars in the suit. Presto Murko. Vile. There you are. <laughs> One mushroom enhancement potion. Piping hot and fresh as it gets. There's a marble close by. Crack it open. <sighs> Elden thinks my powers are cool. I watch. You I've started from lifting Louise. everything when he's around. Right Horses, carts, as and you those. listen. I lifted him once, I but listen. wonderful. Now I've calculated the approach angle and velocity of the combined vectors. Uh, using the potion on that mushroom right there will lead to quite the amazing ride. Which should put you in the optimal position to open the gate for the rest of us. Now commence to jumping, y'all. Hot diggity Murph, it worked. Now get that gate <coughs> open so we can land an assist. <coughs> <coughs> Save the day! Come on, men. We've got to take back our home. Find my wife, Queen. Ah! Keep them coming! the source of the blue rage and gargle snots using it to turn murfetta into one of them things wife queen can you hear me say something girl <laughs> them blue ones off of me. old Murph. <laughs> All according to that. Delicious. Gargle snot. You come on out and show yourself. I'm a Murph and kill you for this. As you wish, daughter. Time for our first and last father daughter dance. <laughs> Let 
be thanking proper life. <clears throat> With Gargle Snot dead and the corrupted crystal cleansed, I think we Murphs can finally start rebuilding our lives. It's a real Murph and shame that old Murph won't be around to see it, though. Truffle hunts won't never be the same without him. <sighs> but you've done us a real kindness this day. There's no way I can thank you enough, but I hope this'll do. at the moment. You'll have to, uh, get his attention. I am a squire of the realm. I am on the noblest quest of all. Revenge. Well, that sounds bad out loud, but I, I need to get across the ocean. I love two things in this world. Rat, quest, and huge explosions. And respecting all living beings, irrespective of my own underlying cultural biases. Three things. I can't do anything right since my magic loot stopped working. What is wrong with your loot? I don't know. It's made of wood from the forest, which should make it magic. I won it in the flexing contest with the fairy punch father. What if you played the lute? Like a musical instrument, instead of clubbing things with it. What a rat idea! No wonder you're the hero! Lute Solo! Lute! These crystal pieces of lute are more evil than I thought! They're draining the boring soul energy! And sending it back to me, which yeah. means I could do things like this. <clears throat> Suddenly, a barrage of skeletons attacked the unsuspecting idiots in the forest. Oh, they came out of that crystal. You gotta destroy it with your badass red weapons and spells! Come back now, would you fight? 
expecting danger. Compost these phony bags! The dragon lord is using the crystal thorns to leech the magic out of the forest? See? Now that's what I'm talking about. Why don't we get into the magic stealing business? Uh, because it's evil? Not if I use it to give orphans enchanted chamber pots. Boom! You look real dumb right now. You like metal? <laughs> Who am I kidding? Of course you do. Who doesn't? Well, there is a little battle of the bands taking place in the forest, and it might could use your talents. Do it for the metal. Don't cut you down till you're sort of the knee. Eat my short pants. Skeletal foes emerges, ready to tear the Fade Maker limb from limb. Hey, this is great. I can see why she likes this.
Over here! Show them no quarter! The souls of the brave! in your hand. Nothing. <laughs> I know that, Val. She's cooking something up. And if it's who I think it is, you're in for a
Christians! Onward to glory! My loot is so full of magic, it feels like I'm essentially hugging a jellyfish! Come on! We gotta go into the heart of the forest! You approach the heart of the forest. Even the heart of the forest is corrupted! What could be so evil? As if an answer! A butt-shivering cry is heard through the mist. <sighs> Behold the horrid visage of... The Banshee! <laughs> This early? Watch out, Fate Maker. She's going for a total party one. You got this, hero! This solo goes out to you! Wait, wait! Where is it? Where is it? Wait! Luke! You don't want that evil anywhere near you! I spy! I can cap no I've seen the Banshee mop the floor with high-level characters. Between you and me, we have a thing. But then she left me the maelstrom of endless insanity, which, you know, I mean, good for her, guys, a hunk. No! The heart of the forest is already corrupted! You evil! You took away my magic and my best friend! I'll never rip again! <laughs> voice seems to be coming from a caged crystal hanging before the corrupted heart. Shoot me! Oh, hell yeah! Fairy Punch Father, you're alive! Thanks to your badass riffs, you truly are a barbarian. <laughs> uh, and you, I know you. Come in. You know me? Well, we haven't really met, but I'm the Fairy Punch Father. As long as magic's been around, I've been here to protect it, mostly by punching. I've seen enough heroes in my time to know when I've been saved by one. Can you fix his magic loot? He needs to bless our ship. Can I? Hi! I'm the one he wanted from in the first place. Watch this. Zippy, zippy, pussy, magoo! Yeah! Is my loot in full power now? Damn straight! Give it a plug! Tweet, 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 Meet me by the docks! Tord the Barbarian awaits you back at the city docks. Ooh, 
What's going on? enough to help us? I'm Sinistrella, front woman for talents of bone flesh. Hail Zygaxis! Praise be unto his dark name. Basically, we're the most metal band in the world, but our outfits and instruments could definitely be more metal. More spikes and horns and stuff. We were hoping you could help with that. Let's go with a natural material, like wood. But it's gotta be like evil wood from an evil tree. You get me? Sorry, evil tree? Yeah, there's supposed to be this wicked evil tree somewhere in the forest. See if you can find it. We really need some new super metal style gear. As long as I get to vanquish something. Man, we're gonna look and sound so sick with this new gear. We'll show those posers in Playground Apocalypse who's the most metal! <laughs> I... Heard that! You snivelly crap stain! The cold of the grave! Nicely. Very nicely indeed. Bring it to us. Demonic Lord Zygoxus is most pleased. Look how he blesses us with sick ass new gear. Hail Zygoxus! Praise be unto his dark name. Now, adventurer, let us reward you with a song. Prepare your ears as well as your soul. Hail Zygoxus! should probably stop that though, right? Probably. There's some uh, loudifiers you can shut off. 
the speakers? The demo. Speakers. So we're Playground Apocalypse, and you've probably heard of us. We're like legendarily metal, but like, I can't believe you actually helped those loser sellouts in Talons of Bone Flesh. But look, <laughs> I can show them up with some real dark magic. I stole this page out of my mom's, out of this powerful witch's grimoire. It's a spell called the Hellhammer. Just need you to gather the magical reagents. Here, take it. I'm gonna like guess that I don't need to explain any of this stuff to an adventurer of your caliber. <laughs> Even though I totally, definitely know the actual reagents needed for it. <laughs> I did try to conduct this spell with some clever substitutions at home, but all it did was overcook my breakfast pastry. <laughs>
king's literal heart. That makes sense. The heart is where cowardice lives. As for me, I tried to use my <sighs> older brother's chess club trophy. <laughs> Such a freaking wimp. I hate him so much! Looks like you've gotten all the reagents we need. <laughs> so get back here already! I need to show those tools how metal Playground Apocalypse really is! So the cauldron is like ready for the reagents you got. Dump them in there so I can do my dark magics and whatnot. Okay, so like, <laughs> stand back. Because I don't think you're ready for the face-meltingly metal crap I'm about to show you. If this one starts, we'll be totally sick as hell solo. You guys just come in after it, yeah? Demonic Lords! <laughs> Are you seeing this? Do you see how friggin' metal I am? Saw that coming. The other band will be happy to hear it, though. <clears throat> hey, so, uh, what just happened over there? They meddled with dark magic. Then they died. Do you know what this means, guys? We are officially the most metal band in the world! We are so metal. Super metal! There's only one thing left to do. The most metal thing of all. Let me give you your reward, adventurer. For your services to the most metal band in the world, we give you the ultimate reward to be a human sacrifice to our dark demonic Lord Zagoxus. The band comes at you with demonic prison. Well, now you've gone and done it. How am I supposed to cause demonic mischief without a body to possess? You must be Zygaxis. I am not sorry. It was self-defense. You're right. I suppose this isn't on you. And, well, I guess you were only trying to help. Come! I will reward your efforts. But there's something I'd like you to do for me in return. All right, here's the deal. I need a new body, and helping me out is really the least you could do to make amends? My attempt to aid them was met with an attempt to sacrifice me. I did what I had to do. Yeah, that'll happen around here. Now the first thing we have to do is find the Shade Boar Grimoire, so you can recite my true name. Meet me in Bradhoof. And he teleports away in a demonically magical poop! Wait! Ziggy Wits! He's already gone, Boo. But why doesn't he just tell us his true name? Uh, cause that's not how demons work. Brett, <laughs> back me up, girl. That is indeed not how demons work. <laughs> hey, Told you, dummy. <laughs> You're the one who killed my host, so you're gonna help me find a new one. Now here's the deal. There's a coven which meets in the catacombs beneath the city. To call them witches would be uh, generous. They are mostly bored house husbands and housewives with too much time on their hands. Basically, they're always trying and failing to summon demons. But they have somehow managed to acquire the Shadeborn Grimoire. You will need to get it back. Very well. What is the plan? As you may have noticed, there's a big piss-off gate in the way. Go get it open. Ow! You 
tricked me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. So listen, I can get this thing open, but I'll need to channel my powers through a host, namely you. But you're a little too goody-goody for that right now. I couldn't possess you even if I wanted to, which I don't. Good people are so icky inside. How about we rub a little shine off that soul of yours, huh? Go do some bad stuff. Why not stop by scamming some town folk rubes out of the money? That'll be fun. Ooh, that sounds kind of icky. What if we did something slightly less evil, like, um, cutting in line? Zygaxis ponders your real dumb suggestion. Ah, uh, fine. I suppose that's evil adjacent. Just so I'm clear, we're doing bad stuff at the behest of a demon? This feels out of character for us. down a glass after glass of pure ocean water to cleanse the body. Hey, what the hell? Who do you think you are? We were waiting in line here, you turd farmer. Well, that was pretty mundane as far as evil goes. But you did piss off some townsfolk, so I'm gonna count it. Little did you know that this one act of spectacular rudeness was all it took to drive a woman named Henrietta over the edge to the brink of madness. She bought like 13 cats and one goat for some reason and she smells like pee all the time now. Oh man. Next, I want you to paint my demonic sigil around the town to increase my power and deal with any gods that try to stop you. Or, or, and hear me out, what if we played a prank on someone, huh? How about that? Uh, you do you, Bill. What? What? That wasn't me. <laughs> oh, sure it wasn't. <laughs> Whatever you say, Marky Ferdinand. Oh, Marky Ferdinand. That's good. That's his name now. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. I hate you all. Marky Ferdinand. Marky Ferdinand. Marky Ferdinand. Ferdinand suffered from IBS. left Brenko forever, hoping to start a new life somewhere else. But instead, he got eaten by goblins or something. Crap, now I feel bad. Finally, I want you to find these annoying lovers who are always spouting infuriating pet names at each other and kill them. Okay, that's one idea. But what if we were to instead say Ignore a keep off the grass sign. Huh? Huh? Are you kidding? Whatever, man. <gasps>
supposed to keep off the grass! Shut up, you loser! Oh, all right. All I needed was for one person to respect my authority today. But I can't even protect a patch of grass. I'm not cut out for this. <sighs> I'm not cut out for this. I guess you technically did something bad, even if it was not very bad at all. The man still counts. Sort of. But that guard went home to rethink his life. He left the city guard, and eventually he died due to a fatal accident involving swords and juggling. Because he, he decided to, to be a juggler of swords. Oh. Poor guy. Oh, uh, well, I must say, I'm disappointed in you, but I'd say you've done enough evil adjacent <clears throat> things to host my demonic personage. Come back to me so we can get this gate open. Here we go. Open your heart, soul, to the darkness. Dictoth, ma nagitomia. This part is Gaginoth! I do not fear you! Oh, oh. Cozy! This is most unpleasant. Oh, get over it! Now then, approach the gate! Here we are! <laughs> Secret passageway now and again. Oh, my mistake. I didn't realize that you too are an idiot. Secret passages tend to have secret switches. It must be hidden nearby.
It's on page 667. Uh, so close to the best page in the book. Ix... Ix... Ixapple! Ixalpul, Grok? That's me, baby! Uh, I feel my power returning. Now, interview these sad bastards in the cages and see if any of them might be a suitable host for my most unholy self. Servant. I can't wait to see what kind of stuff we can do to him. That's a good boy. Farewell, adventurer. I'm sure our paths will cross again. Eventually. Was that a threat? No matter. I'll defeat him if need be. 